on President Bola Tinumbu's advice to the United States Presidential Envoy to ensure the U.S. policy is intentionally collaborative with independent African democracies. President Tinumbu received the U.S. Presidential Envoy and Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs at the Presidential Villa Seri has accepted the invitation to meet with the U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly. TVC State House correspondent Femia Konde reports. This meeting was not just about inviting President Bola Tinubu to meet U.S. President Joe Biden at the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. It was also about deepening bilateral ties and strengthening relations that dates back to many decades ago. President Bola Tinubu advised the visiting U.S. presidential envoy to ensure that U.S. policy is intentionally collaborative with independent African democracies at a time when they are under assault by anti-democratic forces within and outside of the continent. The president also pointed out that the American-backed development finance and multilateral institutions, which were designed to support wars on Europe after World War II, requires swift and comprehensive reform to meet the developmental requirements of younger democracies in Africa, which operate in authoritarian crowded environments such that the legitimate yearnings of Africans would no longer be manipulated to serve the narrow aims of self-seeking demagogues through unconstitutional takeovers of power. Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs summarizes what was discussed at the high-powered bilateral meeting. The economy, so business, uh, we're looking at, uh, of course, security concerns. That's the elephant in the room. You know, what's happening in our region, you know, what's happening in Niger, and, um, uh, you know, other things. Uh, the return to um, democracy and normalcy is paramount. The security concerns in the region also very important. Both sides are, are pleased. Of course, we're going to anger, so there will be uh, sideline meetings there also uh, to continue along the same lines. President Tinubu told his visitor that the crisis in Niger Republic would not deter him from concluding his economic reform program successfully for the benefit of Nigerians and assured that he will only advance the interests of the Nigerian state in the way ECOWAS handles the regional standoff. The U.S. presidential envoy pledged support for the position of ECOWAS and emphasized the high regard the U.S. administration has for the leadership of the chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government, President Bola Tinubu, and also extended an exclusive invitation from the U.S. president to meet on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York to advance discussions further.